Well, welcome, Markus Termin. This is the Astrological Book of the Hours on the 1st of August 2024. It's the Cancer Moon. We are in the balsamic moon phase one sign before the new moon on the 4th in the sign of Leo. Uh, Mars just separated from Jupiter, so the blowing up is not that big. At the moment, Mercury is close to standstill and um, Neptune and Saturn are just slowly accelerating move but backwards. They are going backwards. One interesting thing that we have to face this month, and a lot of astrologers are being talking about that, is not the nice new moon coming, but the difficult full moon approaching. Now, what did I put out here? I put out here in the inner circle the chart for the conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn in the sign of Aquarius. You see it here. It's the 21st, 1st, 2020, Jupiter and Saturn conjunct in Aquarius. At the outer side, you might realize that Pluto retrograde is just above this point of Jupiter and Saturn conjuncting at the first degree of Aquarius. And as this happened, the conjunction at the first degree of Aquarius, the north node, where the future is, where the things are happening, at this time was, was right at the point where we do have, and we're talking about the daily energy now again, where we do have Jupiter and Mars. Now, this is the full moon energy coming at the 19th. So, Jupiter and Mars conjuncting the north node of this very happening of Jupiter and Saturn, the both king's planets, you know, for the great conjunction in Aquarius. So this gives us a hint towards there's something coming which is important. It's about a changing situation. Then we have another hint which comes from the chart of prediction for the whole phase of a three month after the summer solstice, which is the new moon that comes before that. This is the new moon in the sign of Gemini. It was the new moon in the sign of Gemini. And as you can see, the new moon in the sign of Gemini was just at that point, you know, where we do have the square now in between Jupiter and Saturn. This is something that is happening. This new moon sh still shows the warrior Mars in the sign of Aries, uh, the next following new moon for the three-month prediction of the end of the year is going to be more peaceful. But this one um, sh shows this is, this is where all the happenings are, in between Pisces and um, Gemini. And this is now what I expect to happen. As Saturn is retrograde and Neptune is retrograde in the sign of Pisces, we're going to see some of the results of what was established in 2021 when we had this very conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn at the first degree of Aquarius. And in between Pisces and Gemini, <clears throat> there, there's a... There's a correlation of financial movements. So what is to be expected might even be a crash of the stock exchange things. Some black Monday, Friday, Wednesday, something like that. This is on the bigger scale. Something like that is going to come. Because the results of the conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn in the sign of Aquarius are mainly the, um, how could I say that, the failure of the um, preparations of some people who wanted to put a dictatorship upon the earth. Actually, you know, this failed completely. It's, they're not going to advertise it. They're not going to say we failed in um, our 
digital currency business. We failed with war. We failed with a forced, um, you know, shots upon anyone. We failed on all that. They're not going to advertise it, but they did. And the result is going to, one of the results is going to show up around the middle of the month with the Jupiter Saturn square, square. We're going to have more squares. One is going to be at Christmas and the next one is going to follow early next years. But this is what is coming out of the result and the results are not positive for, let's put it that way, some people in the so-called ruling class. So what I do expect is major shifts in the financial calculations of the world. This is what is actually going to happen. And I don't see that there's a move towards the so-called CBDC things, though a million governments might be preparing for it, but it has a lack of um, reality convenience. It can't hold on to reality. It's just not possible because you would have to throw out all the hard assets before you do the installation of something like this. So this is what is on the on the stake this month. Actually, don't be afraid of that. You know, um, I don't think um, the regular day people will affect it that much, but expect something big happening um, at the stock market things. This is my take for today. Thank you very much for listening. This is Markus Termin, Astrologisches Stundenbuch. We're not talking about today. We're talking about the middle of the month. You know, today might be comfortable. The new moon up to the fourth might be nice, but then tensions are growing and they are, you know, coming up. Thank you for listening. If you want to get in contact, just choose this mail address up there and down at my blog site, you will find the conditions for a consultation. Markus Termin, Astrologisches Stundenbuch at the 1st of August 2024.